Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 24 of the Raid series. Now, uh, last night, patch point 12.6.2 came out and two new tasks were added. So, uh, Bunker Part 1 and Part 2, this is available after BP Depot. So I'm gonna accept this task, and it requires us to go into reserve and find an underground bunker. Now, I really want to get Punisher Part 1 complete first before doing this one. This one's very straightforward to do, and uh, we will be doing it, so don't stress too much about that. Um, but we are actually really geared up and ready to go for Shoreline. So I'd much rather try and get that Shoreline bit progressed um, at the same time as uh, we'll, we'll, if, we get, if we get it done nice and quickly and, and, and it all goes well, then uh, we will go to... Reserve and get that one done. So in Shoreline, we have a fair bit to do. Um, we've got the... Da, 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 da. We have to kill four more scavs. No no biggie right there. We need to kill, uh, mark three tanks. We also need to go into the west uh, west wing of the resort and uh, go onto the roof of the west wing of the resort. So a fair bit to do. <clears throat> so um, that's what I want to get done in this episode, hopefully at least. Um, and so what we need to do first is we need to grab the three markers. And then um, ooh, I might take car med kit. We'll grab the three markers. And then um, we're going to go in there. We're going to kill some scavs. We're going to go up to the resort, do a heap in the resort, and then get out. Now, we probably have insurance to come back. Yeah, we've got heaps. Um, so we need to sort that out as well. Um, let's see. We're never gonna have a shortage of backpacks, that's for sure. Uh, and we can sort this bit out a little bit later. So um, we'll do that before the end of the episode. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into Shoreline. We're gonna uh, get rid of all these markers and do all the other stuff. Um, and then if that goes well, we'll go over to Reserve for a raid. All right, so without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Now, depending on where we spawn is what we're going to do, but the main focus right now is to initially get those markers down on those tanks if possible. Um, then that way, if we die, we don't lose the, the value of the markers as well. Um, so they're pretty evenly spread. Um, this is probably the worst spawn possible for us to do the, the tanks. So directly in front of us is the big radar tower. On the other side of that radar tower is um, a a tank the issue we're going to run into is there's spawns to our left and our right so we'll do what we can i want to move nice and quick uh i really there is the option and we actually just go straight along the coastline bit there is a chance for one player to be along there but then we can go kill the scabs you know what we're going to do that because then at least we're completing punisher as a worst case scenario um there's a very high chance there'll be a player to our front over this way Can't walk over that stick, you know. Right. Did not want to make that noise, but... Is what it is. So what I'm doing is... The spawns are inside, like, here somewhere. They, they keep changing it a little bit. Oh, there he is behind me. Alright, I'm just going to keep running now. He obviously knows where I am and I have no idea where he is, so better off just move quickly. And uh, make it that if he wants to chase me, he's going to have to use his entire stamina bar to do it. Keep using the like foliage, trees, rocks, everything we can to uh, to make it harder for him to get a clean shot. Now, we only need four scavs, so um, it's nothing crazy. 
If we get one or two skills down at the uh, at the gas station, then we'll pr I'll probably just head straight to the power station to get the last one or two there. Making sure my stamina doesn't get completely drained as I run. Just enough to uh, keep moving nice and quickly. But not going into the red bar. A quick scan along the coast bit here because there's scavs that can spawn along this bit. One down. Oh, there's another one behind him. Scav head there. No. There's one. So we've got those two, but I'm not going to stick around. I'm actually going to just keep pushing up along. So most people will already look at that rock or where I just was. Uh, and they'll be like, yeah, I know where that guy's shooting from. They'll be looking there straight away. So what I do is now I'm going to move on. Um, the guy that was that shot at me down that way, he's probably going to go straight towards that. And we're going to be well and truly gone from there. Our next scav is going to be on top of the uh, power station. The sniper scav. Now we also need to cut back to the right over here. I'm just keeping an eye out for that sniper scav. The next scav, uh, next place we want to go to is actually the uh, the, the tank. The T90 tank that's located on the bridge. Alright, and we need one more scab now. I'm just gonna go down there. Cool, now that's the punisher done. So, priority now is to, um... Get away from here. There's a good chance there'll be a scab behind here. No. The key spawn in here, not there. Alright, um, we need to head up to the west ring of the resort. We need to get on the roof of the resort, as well as get into West 306. Now, the resort's always going to be a difficult place. Um, so, a few options. We could go around the left here, go straight onto the roof, and then go for the, uh, the signal, which is probably what I want to do as a priority. Um, otherwise, we can go straight through the resort, up to West 306, back down, and then onto the roof. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I'm still trying to move nice and quick. Thankfully, with the new uh, expansion to reserve that just happened yesterday, a lot more focus is on reserve, but... Right, I'm going to go this way, which is the riskier way. But in some ways, I, I think it's better.
And the reason why I think it's some some ways better is There the players coming. So this is the item we need. We're going to go straight outside. Onto the roof. This is the, uh... The signal thing we needed. That was the, uh... Other signal source that we needed. I'm gonna regain my stamina. Gonna have a quick look at rock passage to see if that's open. It does not look open to me. Can't see any green smoke there. Alright, now I just wanna get out of here. So, to get out of here, we're just gonna be running. We're gonna move quick. This is not gonna be good. There's two players that are uh, up there that can shoot at us. Trying to get close to that wall to give some uh, coverage. And we're going to move nice and quick. Right, now we're going to head towards Bunker. This is where the uh, next tank is. Just keeping an eye behind me. The highest threat area is actually those two players up there. Uh, we can hear that shot there. That is actually someone shooting down a bus depot. I'm pretty sure it's bus depot down there. Um... Keeping an ear out for that. And we've got the next tank to mark here. So, I'm going to actually run away for a little bit now. I just want to get away from all these high threat areas and give myself some distance, so... We got a little bit lucky with the resort there. And that was the reason why I wanted to go into 306 first, was mostly because if there's players already in the West Wing, by the time they realize where I am and they build a plan up to try and attack me, hopefully I could get in and out before that. And that was the whole purpose behind it. Somewhat riskier, but at the same time, almost safer. Because the other option would have been go into uh, the other, the far end, the end that we're on now. Go in the staircase, go quietly up the staircase, try and shoot him in the back, or run straight onto the roof. When you're on the roof, listen out to see if there's any players or anything that you can hear going around. And if there are players, then you don't even go into the resort. So it really comes down to how you want to do it. With the, the good thing about the signal one and also marking these tanks, for example, um, it doesn't really matter if we die. We've already got them marked. We've already found the, the signal. So um, there's one less thing we have to worry about. But And that's why going to the roof might actually be better than going to west. So if we got to the roof and then die getting to the west, then at least we got the roof marked. Or the, you know, found the uh, signal. But if we go to 306 but we die on the way to the roof, then we uh, don't have anything achieved from the rain. So... It comes down to how you want to how you want to do it. I'm sure there's arguments going each way.
Now, um, the last tank that we need to mark is down by the village. In the middle of the village, really. A nice big lap of uh, of shoreline right now. So tanks up ahead. Now the houses here are really good for jackets and also hidden stashes and stuff like that. So you do find a lot of people scavenging around here. And later in the raid, scavs can spawn down here too. So. Now, a lot of people like to sit up here and exit camp. Just keep an eye out for that, the top of the hill there. Looks pretty clear for now. done. Whew, good raid. That was good. Oh, happy with that. We did a lot of running, but we got a lot done. So it's avoided the players. Um, and there are going to be a couple of, uh, couple of things coming up, guys, where we're going to be focusing on killing a lot of players. So um, don't think that all my uh, all my raid episodes are just going to be me running around like this. Um, like the pistol one we just did a couple of episodes back. Maybe last episode. Nah, it was two, two or three back. But yeah, there is, uh, there's definitely some killing tasks coming up where we're going to have to do plenty of killing. So, All right, so Prepper. We've got the Punisher complete. Punisher part one. Now, this is actually a really good one to get done. The focus is to get the Punisher part four so we get the Epsilon container. Sorry, girls. The Epsilon container is a... Uh, it's a two by uh, four. I see this is a lower half mast that I had, I've been holding onto. Um, making some more space, cool. Um, so the Epsilon container is a two by four container that go, that's a secure container, which means you can hold a lot more stuff without the risk of losing it. Uh, kill 12 scabs on shoreline using a suppressed weapon. Generally, the easiest way I do this is I just keep using the AK, but I just put a suppressor on it as well. Um, just because I've already got the AK set up. So um, that's generally what I do with this one. But yeah, 12, uh, 12 scavs on shoreline with a suppressed gun. Pretty straightforward. We're going to actually do this one next, the bunker part one, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, healthcare privacy part two. Hand this one in. This is the West 306 room that we went to. And this one is on woods. So that's two tasks now. The three tasks we have for woods. So you can tell that we've got a woods, uh, woods mission coming up or woods run. Um, just want to quickly check though. There is a couple of hand in stuff here. Uh, we've got the Tashonka meat. Haven't got any more spark plugs in that yet. Cool. Um, skier. We now have vitamins part one. Now this is the one where I said we need the West 112 key. Um, and we also need the Emicon key for uh, interchange. So we definitely want to get this done. It gives really good XP. Um, so we want to, we want to get that, that, those keys as soon as possible. Now that we've got scrap metal uh, complete, we can now make the MP5 SD or buy an MP5 SD um, from Peacekeeper level two, um, which means we need to actually spend some money on him. Uh, and then when we get the MP5 SD, we can start making some of this stuff for Gunsmith. Signal part one is now complete. 
Uh, this goes to signal part two. I think we're need, gonna need CPUs. Shit, we need a few things. All right, so for this one, we're actually gonna have to do some farming pretty much on interchange and reserve. CPUs, rec bats. Rec bats are really good in filing cabinets. We're about to go to reserve, uh, and there's a lot of filing cabinets in this new bunker, so we might check them out. Broken G phones can also be found in filing cabinets, but also good on interchange. Circuit boards and computers and CPUs and computers. So uh, this one's something we're gonna work towards. Um, I think we might get the Wilston sorted by just going through the hideout. Uh, Ragman, so this is the woods one that we've still got to do. Jaeger, um, this just happens over time. I don't rush that one. Cool. So I think for the hideout, I don't know if I left the fuel on by accident. I did. Right. What do we got here? Ah, uh, two there. So, okay, we're going to buy a Sakural T. Oh, no. And one of these crappy cigarettes. And then Aaron, 40 minutes. We'll have all the Wilston cigarettes sorted. So that's that part done of that mission. There's no follow-up mission to that, so there's no big rush to get it done. Same with the uh, the Tashonka one. There's no big deal in getting them rushed, rushed out quickly. Um, I really want to get the Intelligence Center to the next level as well, which means we need to make some money. Hey, there's a Tashonka there. Oh, because we just got two. Um, all right, so squash. Uh, 22,420. Cool. These mags might be sold for all right. 33,420 there. And then uh, we don't need this key anymore. So for now, we'll put this down here. Top up that. We're going to uh, disassemble that. Right, um, I think that's number five. I don't think we need any more than five for that quest, so I'm going to hold on to that. This goes down here, so that's that part sorted. Now, what else? We should probably accept all this stuff from here. And some of this stuff we'll probably just end up selling straight away anyway. Um, the 60 round, uh, sorry, the ammo we'll put up here. Okay, we'll just hold on to them for now, I guess. Um, cool. Alright, so we're going to have to make space for this stuff. This is actually needed for a quest. So we're going to have to make space for that and hold on to it. Um, which is coming up from uh, Ragman. How far are we from... So we're good. We need level 25. All right. Um, I'm going to disassemble these. Disassemble these. Probably can sell these on the flea market for more. Eh, barely. Let's get rid of them. They're for Glocks. Cool. Uh, we have a little bit of money. I really do want to get that intel um, for the hideout, mostly because it just gives you uh, more quest reward money, uh, which will add up over time. So it's 220K. We'll construct it. And then we also got the reduced scav timer. So um, the next one's going to take ages to get to. You need uh, all these to level three. And we're nowhere near that, so. Um, I'm just thinking, with the nutrition one, probably not going to be around in an hour and 40 minutes time, so I'm going to turn the generator off. Did we chew through one of them? We did, so. Put, I'd have put that one on there. And uh, these empty generators, they don't sell for anything, like 450 rubles. Right, now, from here, uh, let's get into a reserve run. Check out this new area. See if we can find some wreck bats and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to switch out this site to a OKP7 instead. OKP7. Um, 
because we're going to be at close range. And uh, it should be a good run because this new area is pretty fun to go through. Lots of new stuff to get from it. And uh, yeah, let's go. Right. So we are actually on the... Uh, for the new area, we're actually like on the far other side from it. I might quickly jump through this window to see if we can find an intel spawn in here. Nope, no intel. Most people will be heading to this new bunker system, so... Um, there is a marked room just over there, but I don't believe people will be going for it as fast as they used to, but they still might be. Oh my god, I'm fucked up. Fucking hell. Right, so he must have spawned on top of the hill and then just ran over and just slotted me. That sucks. Full to SKS, pretty much. Sounded yeah, like to me. Uh, Vepa Hunter? Suppressed Vepa? No, you can't do it for suppressed. M1A. Must have been an M1A. Oh, actually, it could have been heaps of things. M1A, RSAS, suppressed. Anyway, moving on. Again. I kind of don't want to go like really geared into this because there's so many good things we can loot from inside there. Um, so we'll take that backpack. Uh, we'll take that. And then all we need to do from here is just grab, say that. Oh, we don't have the, the money. We don't have the money. How do we make some money? Got to think about this for a second. Uh, we could sell the syringes. We don't actually need them. Nine four twenty. That ain't really sell for that much, though. Unfortunately. Hum. What about if we did a quick? Quick factory run as a scav. Use that gear on the next one. Let's do that. All right, so we're in. Need to get rid of this. Six, five, seven. I'm pretty happy with just taking this out, but let's see if we can actually time. Mm. I'm guessing it's red blinker. Is our extract? Yep. Camera bunker door. To reload gives that one extra round. Just trying to think. No, it's just of the hunya. God, it's got an armor on. Cool. And this could be our loadout for the next run. Stop scavenging, scavenging, it's pestily. No. <laughs> no. So if you are struggling for money and you want a loadout, that's what I would do. 100% every time. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, by the way. Nothing wrong with doing that at all. All right, so for the loadout, we're just going to take the Vepa Hunter. I'm going to take all these mags. I'm going to take that. And that armor. And I'm going to put on... Oh, we got the ins... Why didn't I think about this? We had the insurances. I'm going to put them on. Cool. We could even take those mags. Want a little bit extra, extra mags. Uh, ammo wise, M62. Look at that. Unload that one. It's probably got shitty ammo. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's got M62 in it now. Sweet. Put that like that. Right. So we need to clean up that other stuff. But I really want to get into a, a reserve run and get to this new new bunker system. Even if we die when we're there, just want to go and get the quest done and check it out. All right. Into reserve we go.
Um, now, a couple ways we can do this. We could go in from this side and go down, which is probably what we're going to do. Um, go straight into this doorway here. Down and into the bunker. I'm pretty well... I know my way around pretty well now, so... I'm going to go into the bunker system this way instead. So the first part's done, but you need to find the actual main office bit, which is just to the right here. Now, raiders can spawn in this area too. And people are saying you need to put the lever on to, to have that happen, but you don't. It literally can spawn straight away. And there's lots of these uh, supply crates and that down here too. So the office area is actually uh, back down here. Might be a little bit dark for you, but... Sounds like a Frankie problem. And this is the uh, the rest of the uh, mission. So, the new one, bunker, done. All we need to do is survive an extract now. Let's see if we can find a wreck battle too. Ooh, spark plugs. There is so many following cabinets down here. So we need wreck bats, we need CPUs, G phones. Turn the power on here. The new mark room is this door right here, by the way. Somebody coming. Be one with the rat. Pretty sure he's one of my viewers. I remember reading out that name yesterday. Okay, right, let's take this. Holy shit. The problem with down here though, is there are so many spots that uh, people can come from, so you've got to be careful. I'm pretty much just going to do a bit of a loot and scoot. Loot whatever I can and get the hell out. everywhere. We're going to go really min-max. That's what we're going to do. I already looted that one. 
So there's lots of fine cabinets inside here. Did I not loot that? I think I looted those dollars. In the next room, there's like another, like, four sets of fine cabinets too, so. I didn't go in there as well. Must be above. Alright, so now that we've turned the power on. We're going to uh, head to the new extract. Wait. I can see the laser going around at my feet. So the new extract is um, in the old bunker system, and uh, it's in the office area at the back. There's a new door you can open. You press flick a lever, or you hit a button. The power needs to be on for it. Now you can tell if someone's been here by if these doors are open. So if that door's open and the other one on the other side have been opened, then you know someone's been here. So just be wary of that. Not open, so it doesn't mean no one's here. Just means someone might close the door. Same with this door. If this one's open, someone's been here. But it's like it's always kind of good to shut the doors behind you. Put people off. And that door right in front of us is the new extract. Intel spawns on there. We'll search these two jackets. Just a duffel bag. To be like rat central. You could camp the shit out of this so easily. Be up there. Right now the power's on, we can hit this button, opens the door, it's really loud. Maybe Frankie could turn it down a little bit for you, so I don't know. Have it up a little bit so they can hear it, and then turn it down on them. And then once this gap's opened up, you can head through the extract here. Job done. And that is the first of the two new quests. And made it bank, doing it. Even though we lost that gear earlier, but I don't think anyone's going to pick up my shitty AKM and MN with a PSO on it. You might take the PSO off, but the rest of it, I'll get back from insurance, I reckon. Cool. So I'll quickly rip off some of those items and then, um, yeah. That'll be pretty much it. Another quest done. I'll be level 23, I think. Close to 23. Cool. So very close to level 23, which is sweet. Um, for now, we'll just chuck this stuff in here. But we can head in for quests as well. Um, that one goes in there. Meds up here. Cool. Food in here. Two dog tags to sell. I don't even know what to do with all this now. Probably going to hold on to the Vepa Hunter now. Let's 
sell some of this stuff real quick. Pretty sure we've already got a mustache, so we don't need them. That can go. It's almost like a sign. <laughs> the Glock. It's going, I don't want it. Can do with the money more. Cool, and we're pretty much ready to go for another run. So that's kind of cool. We need actually that Ray Bench for a quest coming up. And we've got heaps more meds. Holy crap. Uh, and that's everything. Cool. So that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Got a lot done. Uh, we do have a lot of insurance stuff. Oh, God. To sort. All right, I have to sort this because if we lose it, I'll be a bit upset. Um, let's sell that real quick. I should have left the... I should have left the... Armor for now. All right, what can we put in here? Two bandages. All the bandages can go. Cool. I'm going to put them over there for now. What's Prapper got? So all these helmets will just sell. Ammo can go in there. Cash can go here. Uh, we can sell that. And that pistol can be sold. 5.7 is a good pistol, but I don't think we need any 5.7s at the moment. So we'll get rid of that too. Oh. Uh, we'll sell that one too. These both repair really well. Sell the knife to Jaeger. Um, yeah. What's left? It's a Vepa Hunter. How do I make the Vepa Hunter work? Actually, why do I have that? I can go. Cool. Now that should be fine. Alright. Let's make sure we haven't um, got something we're going to lose. Um, some cash there. Cool. And now we're done. Alright guys. Uh, thanks for watching another episode. We hit 50% survival right now. So obviously we're doing a lot better than uh, when we first started the uh, series. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you smash the share, like button. All the YouTube videos you ever watch on YouTube, please do it. It really does help out the uh, YouTube algorithm and, and the content creators. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, yeah, like I said, like it. Subscribe for future content. If you've watched 24 odd episodes and haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, um, then I don't know what you're doing. You must be really good at just searching my name and clicking it each time. Well, thank you for that. Um, and lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.